Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This is Jason from Dream Canada and today I'm going to tell you how you can get your ECA from WES without sending any documents across, without any stamps or any signatures needed or without even visiting the university that gave you your degree. That's right, you heard it right. You don't have to send anything across to WES. You don't have to mail anything. You don't have to send any documents. You don't have to get anything signed or stamped. So because of the coronavirus pandemic that's going on, a lot of universities have started up these norms where they themselves collect all your documents for you and they send it across to WS electronically online so you don't have to worry about sending anything across yourself and the best part about this is it saves so much of time and money because you don't have to wait for WS to receive your documents after your university or after you mail it to them everything is sent electronically online so then they receive it right away and they can start your evaluation process right away so the ECA process is now faster, it's more streamlined. So I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do this online without having to leave your house and you can get your university to do this for you. But many of you still say that your universities don't agree to send your documents across like this and they won't be sending it online across. So you don't need to worry at all. I'll be telling you the paper process as well. I'll be telling you how you can send your documents or get your university to send them across on your behalf physically in an envelope and I'll tell you everything you need to know about the envelope format the address where you need to send it to what documents you need to send and how they have to be signed and stamped by your university for those of you who have not subscribed yet do remember to subscribe because I'll be giving you loads of information on your Canada PR process and a lot of tips and tricks that will help you get your PR faster I'll tell you exactly what you need to know and how you can send your documents to WAS online and all the documents that you need to send across along with the costs, the processing time and everything that you need to know. So do watch this video right till the end so you can know how you can send your ECA across online from the comfort of your home. So what you have to do is go to the WAS Canada website online. When you enter the WAS website, please ensure that WAS Canada is enabled and not WAS United States. So when you enter into credential evaluation, which is basically what we need to do here, you can check out ECA or eva evaluations for your immigration process. In this window, you'll get to know a little about ECA and what it actually helps you with. As you can see, you can meet your ECA requirements, which are needed for IRCCs, PNP and Express Entry profiles and your ECA report will be valid for five years from the date that it's issued and you can continue using this ECA even if you have to apply to a new express entry profile so as you know each express entry profile expires in a span of 12 months so if you don't get an ITA in those 12 months you have to create another express entry profile so you can use your ECA for a period of five years even though you have to create your express entry profile again and again WS does not evaluate trade certificates like carpentry, masonry, plumbing, etc. So if you scroll down, you'll get to know a little about the process, which is basically submitting your application, your documents, and then they'll be verified and delivered to IRCC. You have to make sure that you create a profile and complete your payment because without this, you won't get any WS reference number. This WS reference number is very important for all your communications and all your correspondence that you will be having through your IRCC account or maybe communications between your university and WES. Let me tell you about the required documents now. So if you click on view required documents as you see, you can enter your country whether you want to go to the USA or Canada. So right now we'll enter Canada. Your country of education would be the country that you have studied from. Let's say it is India over here and your study completion would be completed because most probably you finished your study course already the type of education would be let's say a university education and which credential applies whether it's your bachelor's your master's or your doctorate so let's say it's your bachelor's here and the name of your institution so if you have completed your education from university of mumbai for example you enter university of mumbai and the drop down there you go the drop down takes you to university of mumbai and your credential name would be let's say you're entering a bachelor's of commerce so you enter commerce and you click on bachelor of commerce right there so each 
degree and each diploma has their own set of requirements so then the requirements will pop up according to the choices that you make here when you click on view requirements it will take you to the page based on the selection that you have made before which is your bachelor of commerce and your university name so a little in important information about what documents will be required based on your selection the mark sheets for year one and two of your study program which is basically your FYBCOM and SYBCOM or your 13th and 14th grade this can be attested and issued by even your college or the University of Mumbai this does not matter the main important thing is the mark sheets of your final year which is your 15th or third year this should be issued and attested by the University of Mumbai strictly by the University of Mumbai only Docu WS only accepts documents issued, attested and sealed by designated officials at the institution for example the somebody from the registrar's office in this case and attestations and notaries will not be accepted please make a note of this I get a lot of question about notaries WS does not evaluate any Ayurveda or medical system uh, programs so Please make a note of that because these are not accredited, these are not recognized in North America so they don't do these evaluations. It also reserves the right to verify all documents sub submitted for evaluation. So WS can contact your college or your university if needed. If it finds anything wrong with your documents like if the application is in a different name, if you have applied on WS through a different name and the names appearing on the degree certificates are different. So if this happens then WS has the right to approach your university or college and clarify that, uh, clarify those errors. Unless these errors are clarified, WS will not proceed with your evaluation. As you can see here, once a response is received, then only WS will proceed for your evaluation. Next you can look at the checklist here. The first option would be of course your degree certificate which would be your bachelor's, master's or PhD whichever. You need to upload this in your my account page after creating your WS account. And the statement of marks which is an official document issued by your university. This will contain marks for each year of study and includes each subject and each term. This is actually your transcript documents that your university will issue for you. So you need to contact your University of Mumbai in this case to send your documents electronically to WES. So depending on where you are applying from, some universities have the option of directly sending across all your documents including your transcripts. Earlier you needed to send your transcripts, at least your transcripts physically to WES and your universities would send the rest of the documents over. As you can see, the University of Mumbai even has an online attestation page for you to create. So if you go to this university page that is right here, attestation at your convenience. So you can have a look at the steps here, which is the first step is register with your complete information, which would be your name, your college uh, and uh, your mark sheets and email address, physical address, etc. And then you have to select and upload your education credentials, which is your mark sheets and other supporting documents. The third step would be uploading your transcript copies if you have already taken them from your college after you've graduated. Some colleges tend to give the students their transcripts right after they graduate. So if you have that with you, then you need to upload this as well. You can upload it directly on the site. You don't need to approach the university to create your transcripts first and wait for them to do that and then they'll submit the documents to WS. You can directly upload your transcript copies and instruct your university to send them directly to WES. You have to select your purpose of attestation next. You'll be selecting an ECA evaluation from WS in this instance. So you'll have to also pay your required fees at this time. After at this stage, you need to pay your fee and also write down your WES reference number. So as I told you earlier, you need to pay your WS fee well beforehand to make sure that you get a WS reference number. Now this reference number along with all your documents will be sent over to WS directly from the university. So you don't have to send any documents yourself. After this is done, you can go ahead and track your attested document copies. I'll take you to a little facts and queries for WS related 
questions that people normally have so what documents do you need to upload we've already covered that in the video so this would be basically your mark sheets and your transcripts and uh, your convocation certificate is basically a document that certifies that so and so person has completed so and so degree from so and so university on so and so date the next thing is do I need to give any address or courier anything yourself? So as you can see, it is clearly mentioned here. The University of Mumbai has a secure direct channel for electronic transfer of documents to WS. So you don't need to send anything across to WS yourself. University of Mumbai will take care of everything. And your other universities also have this facility as well. So right now, especially during the coronavirus pandemic, this has started for all universities. So as you can see again here, your, doc your WS reference number is of utmost importance because you aren't allowed any physical couriers right now. So then you need to enter your reference number to make sure that you've paid your fee and then only your university will send across your documents to WS. How much time will this take for you? Generally, the entire process takes around 24 days. It may take longer if you need your transcripts to be created before and uh, but usually it is done within a month so i'll come back to the ws page right here we were on required documents so right below you see after submitting so right now let's say we are at the stage that your university has already submitted your documents electronically uh, including your transcripts your degree your mark sheets everything to ws electronically and you're tracking it online so after ws receives and verifies your documents it ensures that your report is fair and accurate and it will verify all your documents, all your reports, your transcripts and your identity documents. It will make sure that you've paid your fee and then it will send across your ECAs. So let's look at the evaluations and the fees right now. So as you can see, you would need to select immigration in this case. So as you can see, it's mentioned here that it's valid for five years from the date of issue. And you can even submit the same one when you create a new Express Entry Profile if you have not received an ITA before. So the complete time, like I told you, is around a month, 35 business days. And what you will get is an electronic ECA report, which is your soft copy of your ECA report, which I showed you earlier. And an official paper report, which will be delivered to you at your physical address. And an ECA report access for IRCC if in case immigration officials at IRCC want to access your WS documents directly or ECA documents directly from WES and also an electronic storage of your report and verified transcripts for future use for example if you don't get an ITA in in this application and you need to create another express entry profile so you will have an ECA saved as a soft copy in your my account page so then you can just log into your account and download the ECA again. So the price as you can see is 220 Canadian dollars and this does not include delivery fees mind you and also a little sales tax. If you go below you can have a look at the additional fees which includes standard delivery which is another $10. So that would make your total to $230. Now standard delivery is more than enough because this is basically the cost to deliver your actual physical report to you at your mailing address. You'll just be needing the electronic copy anyway, the soft copy that they'll be sending across in my account and uh, your email account as well. So you, you have to upload that on your IRCC account. So then you don't really need the physical uh, copy really fast. So standard delivery is more than enough for this. So as you can see, the standard processing time is around seven business days after receipt. Uh, so this is after receiving your documents, paying your fees and everything. You They'll give you a soft copy of your ECA within seven days in your WS account. And after that, around 20 days later, they'll give you a proper hard copy at your mailing address. So that would cover exactly how you can get your ECA through the electronic process. In some cases, your universities may not agree to send your documents across electronically to WES. So in that case, you can also go ahead and send over your copies or get your university to send them across by sealing and stamping them directly to WES. So I'll tell you the process for that as well. So as you can see, again, there's a three simple step evaluation process. 
you have to again create your account as usual on the WES website and after payment of your fee you'll get a WES reference number this will be needed on all your documents and all your envelopes that you send across to WES whether you send it or your university you will need this WES reference number at all times as you can see WES is not responsible for documents that arrive without a reference number they won't even process your application because they would realize that you've not paid your fee and they won't be processing your application in that case documents must be sent in sealed envelopes as you can see over here here's a sample of a sealed envelope that you need to send to WES so on the front side you need the name of your university an official envelope of your university basically which includes the WES reference number your WES reference number on the top and the WES Canada website which is in Toronto Ontario and you need to put all your documents inside including your transcripts your degree certificates your mark sheets and if your university is sending it across make sure that they have sent all these documents they have attached all these documents as well on the back of your sealed envelope you need the seal or stamp of your official university which overlaps the flaps closure as you can see and the official signature over here of anyone from the registrar of your university WS will not accept any documents if the envelope was opened or if a seal isn't present. So make sure that you send across your reports in this exact format right here which is given on the WES website. To avoid any errors, have a look at the required documents page again. What happens next is once WS receives all your documents, they will verify them and get your ECA ready for you within 7 business days. The processing time doesn't differ here because WS will process your application in the same amount of time whether it's electronically or whether through physical mail. The timelines differ for IRCC applications but generally it is done within 7 to 10 days. So after 7 days are over you should expect a soft copy of your ECA report in your WES page, in your my account page and also on your email address and after a few days you'll get the physical report, the ECA physical report in your hand at your mailing address. You would need to upload that soft copy of the ECA report that you will receive in 7 days on your IRCC account when you apply for express entry or any PNP programs for immigration purposes. So guys that was all the information on how you can get your ECA from WES. If you have any doubts or queries do remember to comment below because as you may know by now I answer all your queries and comments. Do remember to hit like and the subscribe button along with the bell icon so you stay updated with the Canadian immigration processes. I wish you guys the best of luck for your application and have a great day.